here is a case of unedited video with thulium fiber laser enucleation the reason for sharing is learning curve when you do initially i tried to do n block and i made mistake you can appreciate the gland here not very big not very small doable with trp but i am using the coral starch working element they have this type of variety uh, loop the right lobe of the patient is falling left lobe is average trp can be done within 1 hour most of the cases but in this case reason to share is if you do bilobar and if your laser settings are this thulium fiber laser 2.5 and 20 that becomes 50 this is a 60 watts laser it is very fast in cutting 2 to 2.5 is very good normally we start from the paravero region no need you can start from here also standard traditionally all see you are seeing a little bit of the coagulation and charring this was a 3 watt setting after after a while i changed you will observe that this is unedited video i have changed to little setting to 2.5 watts then it immediately uh, still i have not changed i will show that when i will changed this is 2.5 20 joules now i have changed see now you see the charring effect will be less and uh, see see the lifting of the small prostate see see now i am keeping a little away also people say that in thulium fiber laser prostate capsule is not seen see how it is getting separated see and the with loop i am not pushing i am not rotating doing anything if you stay for some time it will cause charring now see okay i hope you appreciate if you cut the gland it chars see here it's a gland it chars but zero bleeding here i am sharing only one lobe enucleation now i am coming at the 6 o'clock position slightly 5 o'clock position slowly i am lifting from the bladder neck region up to the veru which is a standard not new the reason to share is nothing new how to reduce the learning curve with tfl the idea of that is also tfl is only less costly half of the cost than 100 watts see see, the, see here don't don't stay quickly move see i am quickly moving this is almost equal to uh, homium laser enucleation because homium laser enucleation is costly and thulium fiber laser can be used in multiple purposes i am sharing every te technology may change no conflicts of interest of course because i have thulium fiber laser i am doing with it so see see the capsule you you don't you don't say that i am cutting through the gland here nicely lifting up and entire this procedure is finished in 20 minutes that is too short time then it will be comparable to trp otherwise we will be feeling that trp is better but here see right from here see see the moment you are rotating the capsule is getting separated if you are in gland what happens yellowish deep charring will happen see this much charring is acceptable this will not be there in uh, homium but doesn't mean that uh, it is best it is white total white this is uh, also white but a little bit of yellow see if you are in correct plane and a medium or to large gland is there so nice plane will come see i am coming up to 3 to 1 o'clock position up to 1 up to one i have not seen the veru i am coming every time to the floor going slightly on the floor lateral and then lateral lateral people will ask what type what type of loop this is this is coral sage loop even if you don't have this loop nothing will happen only thing is that it will uh, protect the scope see every time i am doing this the the see it. you can come back and see nicely at the edge of the veru it is see this is a mucosa this is a sphincter this is a sphincter you can just cut the uh, release the uh, uh, see just release the small 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 rim of uh, this mucosa that's all that's that's you can see appreciate the mucosa is separated so you are staying here sometime that's why charring is there that's all finish 
this release will help you to push the gland further without uh, injuring the uh, without injuring the this thing now you are rotating you are rotating same fashion this is a bilobar technique initially i used to do n block see you are deviating here you should not deviate like that come back come back is the very very useful uh, method here i am not coming back here i finish see where i have cut the mucosa it is finished here then your confidence level will increase here and one more thing go for one plane only see one plane only you keep on turning then surgery will goes very fast actually i am sharing only one lobe because uh, giving voice over for entire lobe is difficult same thing can be repeated on the upsi when you are doing this you have to imagine a little see again you are going in a wrong plane here and just above that plane was correct see this plane this plane this plane see the see that the moment you are in the plane it becomes white it becomes even at occasional if it is see it's ending here again i am coming back again i am coming back if it is little charring no problem that doesn't mean that surgery is totally wrong you can come back again so again i am coming back to the base level now i am coming from the anterior see the depth how much depth is there if you have more depth and protrusion it is easy case for the enucleation now it is a simple that you have to cut and sweep like that sweep on either side this is also very standard everybody practices this you you will get some bleeders here you can stop that there is no problem see i am sweeping 2 3 cm if you sweep the previous plane you can connect well this is at the 12 o'clock position see i am i am going in the middle clearly white tissue is seen don't stay with laser fiber a long time it will take time this is uh, after 40 50 cases and uh, see like that if you sweep it will go easily side that means with uh, 50 watts if you have 60 watts even people are doing with 30 watts also uh, with 60 watts see i am sweeping i am going from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock like that see it is getting separated it is getting separated uh, this horizontal uh, sweeping helps a lot in connecting the lobe automatically lobe is uh, falling see there is no bleeding absolutely no bleeding see entire lobe is uh, shifting down see this is a la laser fiber which you have previously see slowly come come you, you have previously come here that's all then combine both these are three o'clock to combine both now sweeping that's all now surgery goes very fast now see surgery goes very fast now this is the capsule at the retropubic region already you have see already you can see previously done and this done both will unite this small amount of charring does not make any post-operative symptoms it's only on the prostate gland see see on the tissue side nothing is happening nothing is happening that's that's it like that uh, see see it's, it's getting sweeped easily like that see the rotation movement rotation movement see rotation movement i am not doing any for forward movement my speed is increasing now as soon as i realize that see the lobe is clearly seen lobe is clearly seen well again i'm rotating reverse direction to mix it one millimeter that way that way if you go also you can reconnect easily see again i am going back yeah so clearly i am sweeping between uh, both sides i am uniting this is uh, from slowly from three o'clock up to three o'clock i have come the bleeders will immediately get coagulated with thulium fiber laser see you cannot say that i am going through the gland here the speed is very fast here and uh, you can keep on rotating like that see the see the bleeder you can immediately coagulate and there is no need to put uh, other pedal also other pedal is coagulation which is uh, high frequency and low energy that is also not required just traverse the tissue it will get coagulated or touch for some time it will get coagulated 
so continuously i am at 3 o'clock to now i am coming to 4 o'clock position continuous sweeping i am doing you do above you do below see above above nicely all fibers are seen now i am coming little more distally same step between 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock but middle part of the gland middle part of the gland if you constantly release that now i am coming still more distally see this is a difficult part if you if you if you do one one centimeter like this and ultimately come back to the uh, come, back, come back to this level see this is the end of this is so this this uh, not only from above below if you have patience and unite see i am going now from six o'clock to then three o'clock in the distal part prostate is divided into base middle and distal part and antero posterior so you are doing now a distal to proximal base middle part you are lifting so entire gland is moving towards the bladder now see see the plane hardly any forward backward movement this is not a very big gland to get lifted by itself but still if you are in plane it is lifting with laser not with the beak or anything beak is not at all involving see i am even though my laser fiber is not at the uh, reverse direction i am touching towards the gland side see but the only thing is that anteriorly, posteriorly, laterally, all the planes. See, again, I am going to the, see, now laser fiber has come into the top. This is ideal. Here, thulium fiber laser, if you stay, it will cause, it will stay, it will cause uh, this charring. That is the only disadvantage. Sometimes you have to stay, you can't move fast. See, here I am not able to move very fast here. And it goes, goes, see, 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 how it is lifting, how it is lifting, obviously, towards the base, I mean, floor of the prostate, I am coming. See, now with pressure, that is getting lifted, see. See. This is the way it is getting lifted off completely. Now we are going, see the bleeder, and then immediately go there coagulate one second it will stop not a big deal any big bleeders uh, in thulium fiber laser see you just cut it cut the tissue off don't coagulate if you separate the tissue they it coagulates better see now that plane is hardly any time hardly any time see now once you cut it off you can coagulate better now again i have come from floor i am going above cutting the floor see see the capsule how it is getting lifted up some areas when it is getting lifted up you can do very fast see if you put the laser fiber more inside it causes charring it should be like pen at the tip not long thing now i am slightly push little push i have given see 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 see, see how i am rotating this comes with experience it, it won't come immediately and now, see now, see, see this is the bladder neck region, we are pushing the gland and see, previously we have separated at the floor, now it is getting separated nicely, just touch, even if you don't touch it will get separated, that is what a homium uh, laser claims, it can be done with uh, 2.5 watts and uh, uh, this thing you can easily do it see here I am missing a little bit of plane so again I came back and saw and laterally so 10 20 degrees rotation 10 20 degrees uh, forward to backward I mean distal to proximal if you keep on doing you will really not miss the plane see here it appears charring more fine acceptable you are already on the floor see if you go little deep capsule will perforate so everybody will do error at the bladder neck region towards the prostate nothing will happen if you leave few millimeters of uh, a little dark uh, uh, surface of the prostate on the bladder neck instead of perforating the capsule that causes more problems see i am going to the more here into the prostate so i came back 
came back rotate came back rotate this is true capsule this this is true capsule this this is the most difficult part once you come to the middle level you come back and try to make the uh, see the bleeder you try like now i am rotating forward this all happened in 20 minutes this is one of the uh, good case not very big gland but very easily doable for beginner see now retro pubic region you have to unite the capsule is also not one structure it will have one or two layers you can go this way or that way but you can unite and you, you can unite and get a good uh, ultimately good uh, surface see see this is the capsule two layers maybe that little uni little unite see uni 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 uniting the connecting bridge unless you unite this you cannot finish the surgery easily whatever the first part i have done now see only this tissue is the connecting this is connecting this is connecting this is connecting this is connecting between 3 o'clock to now it appears that some gland is left really not few millimeters that's all only thing is it chars if you are really in gland continuously it doesn't bleed it chars you will continue that's why people say it is easy but that's not the way we have to do it then the purpose of uh, enucleation see this is a plane this is a plane i am going little deeper now one layer that is causing more whiteness previously it was little char this is a true facts actually but the beauty is not even not even a single breeder will trouble you hardly 10 ml blood loss will be there and uh, especially aspirin clopidogrel at a lower dosage i think this amount of coagulation is definitely beneficial see the capsule see the nice capsule here see i am going deep here a little bit i am going immediately what i have done i have done one layer see precession is see one layer millimeter layer i came leaving that capsule back finished then you are in a normal plane then you are in a normal see you are getting the bladder neck it is actually very uh, uh, edematous bladder mucosa and catheter retention so see without knowledge uh, the gland has uh, gone into the uh, i have never looked crossed beyond the veru once i release the mucosa releasing the mucosa and middle part of the gland and uh, middle part of the gland uh, uh, both anterior posterior unity is the learning curve once you get that see now sweeping movement not forward backward movement sweeping just to sweep so that the pressure on the sphincter will not be there this patient did very well post operatively and uh, and see here here benefit of doubt don't uh, really perforate the capsule this amount of the prostate at the, uh, the little bit of c this is the, this is below is the capsule if you go too much into the capsule it will it will see now i am coming to the floor see always the bladder neck see this is the bladder neck you should be careful this is the bladder neck from here immediately you should rectify otherwise see nicely the mucosa is released sometime this is the only part in this surgery uh, i just felt that uh, i am going into the bladder but of course not damaging any this is a trick is come on to the floor only not on to the gland but at the same time keep a watch on the this is the only part which is little see little gone mucosa into the uh, this thing but otherwise not a mess see here once i get the plane i, I am just uh, exactly at the see neck level you should sweep like this so that means i have gone to to be to save god i have gone into the gland now i am coming back to the neck that's all exactly 19 minutes 30 seconds this gland is uh, unedited video gone the large gland may take uh, this thing usually one and a half hour it takes it is slightly more than slightly more than uh, uh, trp no doubt about it that's all so this is what exactly we want to show the edematous bladder uh, now if you come back and see this is the fossa Thank you.